I'm back as a sucker for punishment, I'm going to try the bloom technique. I've never ever done this before. I've never ever made this white sink, ink, whatever it's called. Um, and I've made this, this up. So I've used a bit of white pigment and some alcohol ink, just the plain alcohol, oh, sorry, not ink, just plain isopropyl alcohol and um, a little bit of my UV resin. So I'm hoping it'll work. We're going to just try. If it doesn't work, nobody will ever be the wiser. So what I've done is I have filled this little one all about two thirds of the way full. And I'm using, this is gel nail polish that I use in my classes, which I've taken a brush out because it was just a little bit more control over the amounts that we use. So I'm going to drop in some color. And you can see how nicely that color dissipates into the resin. Which apparently, according to YouTube stops, is what you want. So I'm going to leave that to kind of dissolve. This one is temperature changing pink. And now I'm going to use this one, which is a brighter pink. Just so I've got a bit of contrast. Um, let's put that in between each dot. Okay, it looks like there's a little bit less of that, but we'll see how it comes out. All in the name of experimentation. Very, very exciting stuff. So now we hope for the best. I'm going to do a little. Apparently, very messy as well. I don't know what I did here, but anyway, we'll see how this comes out. So I'm going to take it from the outside to the middle. Do a little bit of a whoops in the middle. I don't know if that looks like a bloom, but let's see how it comes out. Okay. So I did the back and the front, thanks to the beauty of editing you didn't have to suffer through that long experience so now we're just going to top it off with some black and you can use any other color really but I just find that black sometimes makes a really good contrast although I must say I think I could have even done white with this one just to see just to make it softer but I was quite interested to see how the white had worked and I think it'll be better to see it on a black background so we'll just give that a boost. Okay. Now the big reveal. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at those three dimensions. That is amazing. Okay, happy with this. Good experiment. This was a great experiment. I will be doing more of these, definitely practicing, but that looks awesome. Thank you for joining me.